this week's topic, we are going over COVID-19 precautions and how we can keep our employers safe within the organization from contracting the virus. Uh, so for private employers, you can mandate all of your employees to be vaccinated other than in the state of Montana. They still don't have the right to do so. Uh, but if you are a private, uh, if you are a private employer, you can make sure that your employees do get vaccinated. Uh, the problem with vaccines is there's a lot of people that are for and against the virus. So it's been, it's been tough for managers to really be able to mandate the vaccine because it can really cause a low, it can cause your morale and your organization to be a lot lower than it typically would be. And it's tough to find employees just like that. It, it really is. You can't find 10, 15 employees at one time that are going to feel the, fill the role of our employees that don't feel safe with getting the vaccine. So, you know, we want to make sure we can get employees vac vaccinated, but it's very tough because we have so many people that are for and against the vaccine. And in addition to that, if you do have a disability or a religious belief exemption, you have to make sure the organization has to make sure that that exemption is valid. And if they are, then the employers have to find a way to deal with these employees that cannot get vaccinated due to disabilities or due to religious beliefs. So it's on them to find ways to go about that. And it's also very important that we can make sure that these employees aren't, you know, just kicked from work because they can't get vaccinated because that would cause a lot of problems within the organization. And it might cost you some money in lawsuits from, for firing employees that had reasons that they couldn't be vaccinated. In addition to that, I feel like an organization really needs to uh, look into how the mandate will affect the workforce as a whole. And as well as that, they need to kind of figure out what mandate should the organization implement, a hard or a soft mandate. And that's really a tough call. I feel like the hard mandate is a little bit more difficult because it's really just kind of saying, hey, you have to get vaccinated. And then the soft mandates, you know, it's kind of persuading people into the vaccination. So I feel like that's probably the best uh, route to go. I don't think you should push anybody to get vaccinated if they're not comfortable with it. But it is very important that we keep the, uh, the numbers of people getting COVID-19 low uh, and make sure that us as an organization aren't causing any outbreaks to the community as well. Now, in addition to that, employers covered by the American Rescue Plan will be reimbursed for providing employees paid time off to take their families and themselves to go get the vaccination. So if you have an employer that's, or an employee that says, hey, I'd like to go get vaccinated and your organization is covered by the American Rescue Plan, then you can pay your employees to go get vaccinated. So that's almost a little bit of an incentive for employees um, and employers to get their employees to become vax or to go get the vaccination. So it's crucial that we we know the right steps in getting the vaccination and the things that we can do for our employees uh, to go get vaxxed. Now, on top of that, if you work for a federal employee or an on-site contractor, you will be required to show that you have either been vaccinated or you have been tested uh, once or twice a week for the vaccine or for the virus and make sure that the, te the tests are negative. Uh, because if they are positive, then that can really cause a problem in, in the organization, and it really can cause your company to have a bad outbreak, and it's it's scary. So we want to make sure that everybody is properly tested or is vaccinated, and even people with vaccines nowadays, if, if they feel like they have any symptoms, it's, it's crucial that they tell us beforehand, and we can make sure that they get the time off that they need, um, if they do have the virus, and, and it's very important for managers to, to know how to uh, deal with this problem because it is such a big one in the time that we're living in right now. In addition to that, if you are a federal employer or an on-site contractor, you must be wearing a mask at all times. It is crucial that you wear your mask properly as well. You can't just wear it, you know, over your mouth. You need to have it covering your nose and you need to make sure that you aren't 
too close to anybody or breathing on top of anybody. We, we want to make sure everybody has their own personal space and they can kind of work in their own bubble and not have to come too close to any other employees. And if they do have any questions, just try and make sure that, you know, you can talk from six feet apart. You don't have to be screaming at one another, but you definitely need to keep your distance. And uh, it's very important that we make sure that all of our employees are safe from this virus. And on top of that, lastly, Joe Biden has actually been offering $100 stipends to employees that are getting the vaccine since the vaccination rate was at a very low rate. He's trying to bump those numbers up. So if your organization has, uh, has been offering $100 stipends for, for the COVID vaccination, then it's, uh, it's very important that we let all of the employees know that, hey, if you do feel like you need a little bit extra cash and you, you haven't gotten the shot and you're comfortable with getting it, we do have this $100 stipend and we can make sure that if you feel like you, you want to get the shot, we can get you in. And it's very important to, to make sure that all of our employees are vaccinated.